So the next one Rachel's gonna smell is Dolce & Gabbana's, the one. Mm -hmm. Let us know what you think of this. Um, it's really subtle. Yeah, it's really subtle. It's not, and it's just fine. It's nothing special. Sorry. Okay, add it to worries. Uh, it's a six. Six? Oh, okay. Six. Solid six. There you have it. It's not that bad, but it's not that great. It's, it's, yeah, I'm like, uh, it's there fine. It. Six out of ten for Dolce & Gabbana's The One. And last but not least, we have Dolce & Gabbana, the one Eau de Parfum version. I mean, this was such a classic fragrance, I feel like. Let's see what you think. Let's see if you love it or you hate it. It is, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything more. Just okay. let me know. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, it reminds me of the last one. Does that make sense on the, the chemical profile or the, mm -hmm. the scent profile? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm, 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 it's too strong for me. Um, I like it a little bit more than the last one, so I'd probably give it a six uh, on a scale. But, I don't know, it doesn't do too much for me. Yeah. Can you explain that? What, maybe why are you seeing a trend with me? For sure, you like subtle scents for date night. I think just in life, because yeah. even me, like just how I go. Because if it's too much, it's no good. It's a happy medium with scents. Scale of one to ten. This guy is. I'm gonna give it a six. So it's more than the last one, but it's not up there. I'm like I already want to reach for the one that I absolutely love. Yeah. All time favorite. <laughs> so we'll be back in a little bit. We'll smell the dry downs, and then she's gonna let us know if she likes her favorites more, less, the same, and ones she didn't like if they improved or got worse. So you ready? Badass. Let's do it. Cool. And Dolce Gabbana, the one eau de parfum. I still, I still dislike this one. I think because I gave this a six. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take it down. Sorry. Okay. So here is the one, and this is the EDP version. Okay, yeah, because I'm not getting... I definitely feel a lot more tobacco in this, which I really, really like. Um, this by itself is really intoxicating. It's kind of like a much more intense, drunker version of By the Fireplace. Mm. That's what I'm getting from that, right. which I like. But I'm going to do that as an 8.4 by itself. So All right. that's a 5. You just smelled the one intense. Now you're gonna smell the OG, not the OG, but the second one, the one Eau de Parfum. Let so us know what you think of the one EDP. Okay, going back, it's similar to the last one with that like fresh, airy kind of pine outdoorsy smell, but um, this one seems a little bit heavier, less mm -hmm. bright. Um, it's definitely the warmer, darker of the two. Definitely. So this is this is a little bit warmer, a little bit deeper. Um, maybe for those who don't like camping. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like the other one more. Okay. But this is not this is not a bad scent. I wouldn't I wouldn't be unhappy with somebody on the couch smelling like this. I'm gonna give this. So you gave the other one an eight. Yeah. This is gonna be a six. This is a six. 
Six? Yeah. Okay. I don't right. hate it. I don't love it. I like the other one more. So it's just in the middle, you still like it. Yeah. This one, I You'd again, be okay with it. I'd be okay with it. That one, all for cuddling. This one, maybe more for date night out than date night in. Okay. Cool. The one, Butter Parfum. This one got worse. This one got worse. Um, it almost has like a soapy, salty dry down. Mm. It's not, it's way more stringent. It's not very romantic. Uh, I'm gonna say this one's worse. I forgot what I, what I That was a six. That was a six? six? Yeah, I think it was a six. Yeah. Six. yeah. I'm gonna bring this down to a four on a dry down. <laughs> this one did not get redeemed, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I, got, I gave you one. <laughs> All right, Ashley, let us know what you think of Dolce & Gabbana's The One Intense. This is the latest release. Of The One. Of The One, yes. <laughs> of The One. Yeah, which is one of their famous signature, you know, scents. Let us know what you think. Ooh. It's, this one makes me almost think of like like Coca-Cola or like okay. a soda. Okay. Cool. Um, it's on. It's on the brighter side. Um, I do like brighter scents, so this one I like. This one almost. Um, I would almost wear this myself, like as a woman. Okay. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I wouldn't call this sexy, but it's definitely like approachable and kind of flirty. It's less like aggressively sexy and very flirty and light. Um, I like this one a lot. It kind of, it's weird. It reminds me of like um, my lake house in Canada. Like it's a really weird scent memory trigger, yeah. but that's, it reminds me of like a lake house, like cut grass, stuff like that, um, mountain air. So if you're into that kind of vibe, you know, doing a Netflix and chill out in the lake and the mountains, I think this might be a good one for you. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go um, an eight with this one because I really nice. like this one. And maybe it's just because it's making me think of my childhood. But it's possibly <laughs> scent memory is a strong yeah. thing. Any of you guys who like camping, this is a good camping scent. Yeah. Okay, cool. The one in scent. Alrighty, Dolce & Gabbana, the one in tents. I don't think it got worse or better. It's, it's just very different now. It's almost okay. more um, floral now. Okay. Which doesn't make it worse, it's just different. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this more, so. You gave it an eight before? Yeah, I like how it dried down a lot more. It's, you, can, you get a lot more floral notes. So I'm going, like some citrus. Okay. So I'm gonna bump it up a half, a half point. 8.5? 8.5. 8.5, the one yeah. tens. The next 2020 fragrance that Victoria is going to smell is Dolce & Gabbana's The One Intense. Mm -hmm. So let us know what have you I think of. Have I smelled The One before? You have smelled The One. Mm -hmm. We had it in a date video and you liked it but didn't love it. Mm -hmm. I, remember. Um, I remember. But this is very different from that one. Okay. Whoa. Um... <sighs> Dang, this is a... Uh... This is interesting. I like this a lot. It has similar vibes to the Dolce & Gabbana K. Um, or I think the dry down smell very similar, to be honest with yeah. you. I mean, they're both Dolce & Gabbana. I feel like the same perfumer created both of these scents. Uh, I have they, no idea if that's true. <laughs> right, I mean, right, that may, <laughs> may or may not be yet. true. But I feel like, you know, the same designer, whoever designed these two scents, or, or maybe, you know, they conspired together to make them 
cousins. I feel like they could be cousins. This is just um, a less vibrant, richer version, I feel, of the K. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, same, like I feel like it's very zen. Uh, it makes me want to smell it. It's very woodsy. Um, I get coconut vibes from it. Oh yeah. Yeah, like very vacation-y vibes. This yeah. is not something that you would wear every day. This is something that you would yeah. wear for a special occasion. Um, I wouldn't necessarily use it as a date night fragrance either. I would say like during the day, kind of a, you know, musky, like fall, simultaneously Like a fall bright. daytime scent? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm kind of getting some hints of vanilla, which is making me like it a little bit more. Um, I don't know if that's true, but I feel like a sweeter, a sweeter undertone coming out in this one. I like this one. Cool. Scale yeah. one to ten. Uh, I'm a solid nine. Nine. Yeah. So, K, you like just a little bit more. A little bit more, yeah. But K, you still like this one. Yeah, maybe I'm biased because K for conical, but no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, K, cool. I like a little bit more. They're quite similar to me, but K is just. Um, a little bit more special. I think it has a better opinion. top. Yeah. 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 Cool. Mm. cool. And then let's see how the one intense does for you. And this one's a lot better. This one, um, yeah, I score it a nine. This is delicious. And I didn't like it as much as K in the beginning. Right. It's like they switched roles in my head. This one's really good. Still gives coconut vibes, at least for me. Mm hmm Yeah. Still very vacation-y, but more of a nighttime fragrance now. I feel like it's settled into something deeper and darker, and uh, yeah, I, I approve. Cool. That means your favorite today is the One Intense. The One Intense. It's delicious. It's bright. It's sexy. Date night and during the day. Cool. Wear it anytime.